and welcome back to my channel for the love of organizing. I'm Laura and I share my tips on creating an inspired home and life you'll love with budget-friendly finds. In today's video, I wanted to share my new coffee bar with you and walk you through the process from finding the item on Craigslist, bringing it home, cleaning it up, and setting it up for both the holidays and for the new year. So I hope you enjoy. I always appreciate your comments and I look forward to interacting with you below. So here is what the hutch looked like when we brought it home. We found it on Craigslist and negotiated the price down to just $60. And we just fell in love with the barn wood and it was the right size for our coffee bar area in our kitchen. I thoroughly cleaned it up, including vacuuming out the nooks and crannies and also removed the old fabric from the cabinets down below. Let me quickly show you the holiday setup first and then the latest configuration with the new coffee equipment. Beginning on the left hand side, you'll see that Darlene Bailey's mug, which is great for holding an extra spoon or two, and then this pretty creamer from the Pioneer Woman line, which you can pick up at Walmart. Just above, you'll see these three thrifted mugs. They're some of my favorites and they bring in some really soft colors. And then these three vintage ornaments that you may recognize from my last thrifted haul. I also displayed the first ornament we ever bought our son um, just because I sometimes worry about putting it on the tree and I felt it fit here really well. On the right hand side there are three different kinds of tea in these colorful tins and then above a few of our favorite holiday snowmen. I also placed the three copper canisters on the top there for sugar, coffee, and tea. There's also a dry sink, and I just cleaned it up and placed this tray there first, then filled it with mugs, spoons, and a few um, reusable K cups. This snowman tray worked well during the holidays as a place to rest your spoon as you're making a cup of coffee. Now the area down below in the cabinets hasn't changed, that's where we have all of our Temptations bakeware, which I am really enjoying. It was a, an anniversary surprise from my husband, and so far I'm just absolutely loving it. Now let me show you the 2016 setup thus far, and you'll notice a few differences. We swapped out the Keurig for the new Ninja coffee maker and blender, and I'll link to more information about that below but we are in coffee bliss with this upgrade and can easily make iced coffees, cappuccinos, and a host of specialty drinks. Up on top, I placed this beautiful decorative plate, another Goodwill find and originally from Hallmark. And the copper tins are now on either side. I brought in the fourth one just to keep everything balanced, even though that one is for flour. Uh, we used part of an Anthropology gift card to grab these two mugs with our initials and the rocking horse has been replaced with these little flavored syrups that came with the Ninja set. Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you enjoyed. I'd love to hear how you take your coffee, so leave me a comment below and let me know if you're more of a mocha cappuccino, a little cream and sugar, um, an iced coffee, or a tea drinker and I will see you over on Instagram and Facebook until my next video.